hey what's good people tunji from scissor graphics welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you how to create storytelling photo manipulation i'll be teaching you things to avoid when making successful manipulation is concerned so sit back relax and keep watching we have the photographer and graphic designer part of photo manipulation but my focus today is the graphic designer part which is combining photo manipulation with type to create a pleasing result. I've seen so many unsuccessful projects from creatives and I believe part of the reason why the project is not successful is because the designer still lack the meaning of photo manipulation. So I have here Photo manipulation is the transformation or alteration of a photograph using various methods and techniques to achieve desired results. We have different types of photo manipulation and the first type here is the transforming to object. Now on this type of um, photo manipulation, white space is very very important. White space, in fact white space is what you know always make this look successful and then another thing you need to consider where achieving the transform to objects is the use of color making your color blend or using colors that work together that work well together is very key on this type of photo manipulation and also you need to understand how to use photoshop i have here transform to object project from designers what made this project unique is the putting together of veggies to form a female dress. The complementary placement of two brushes to illustrate sparkling white teeth is what made this look successful. Why this looks successful to me is because you know we're used to seeing designs with pictures of real coffee cup. But here, rather than see the real coffee cup, we have putting together of flowers to form the coffee cup. This illustration of onion transformed to female breasts to let people know onion can save them from breast cancer is so lovely. I like this. On this type of photo manipulation, you need to understand what I call depth. So when I say depth, I'm referring to you need to understand how things appear in real life. You need to understand. You need to obey the law of nature, because details is very important in this area. So I'm going to go to my next slide now, and we have this illustration of a bull trying to hit a traveling bag. And why this is so successful is because of these details we have on the body of the bull to depict force. What the traveling bag did to the bull here is stopping it. Because of these details here, we were able to understand that there's a strong force that stopped this bull from moving. This is beautiful. So on this next um, design here, why this is successful is the fact that we have this zip illustration here unveiling the results you get after using this product I, this is a combination of 3d application and um, photoshop but you still need to understand photo manipulation here because if you don't understand um, photo manipulation or color grading you won't be able to achieve you know making the colors here blend and the fact that aside from the fact that you know we have this beautiful illustration here the color on the project is also what gives it life this is beautiful. So here we have this illustration of shirts in the water with different bubbles of objects coming out from it. This icon here is ice cream so it's so as to let you know that using this product is going to wash out ice cream stain. And here we have a um, wine cup so it's depicting the washing out of um, wine from the shirt. And then also we have this coffee cup here telling us that using this brand or using this product is going to wash out coffee stains. So this is another beautiful, simple illustration I love so much. And why this is successful to me is 
you know the way the illustration here is because the message here is so as to let you know that wearing this nike footwear is going to f make you feel like a flying angel this is beautiful now typography is pictures of words and we use typography the way we use images on our project so depth is also important on this type of um, photo manipulation so i'll go straight to my next slide here so we have this um, tutorial I did for designers and um, if you are interested in watching this tutorial you can you know visit my YouTube channel so look at the way we have this tier of paper with the figure on the project with the hidden key this is so so lovely so this can be used for projects like seven secrets of blah 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 all right so this key serves as the secret all right the secret key and you know the use of gold here is also part of you know what made this um successful all right so see the way this designer use figure eight here to create an island this is beautiful this is so so beautiful this here is the combination of um 3d and 3d application and um photoshop but like i said previously you still need to understand the principle of photo manipulation where achieving this type of project is concerned so on my next design here we have instead of having papers coming out from the pos machine we have paper coming in form of figures this is so so lovely on this type of photo manipulation you don't need type to explain your illustration the use of doodles is you talking to people what the audience just need is the illustration on this type of um, photo manipulation you need to understand how to draw all right now you need to understand drawing because here you need to be able to do something that will be you know easier for people to see and understand the message and another good thing about this is this serves as the sound this serves as the voice on every photo manipulation project so rather than you embedding sound on a still image which is not possible except if the if the project is uh, converted to a video doodle serve as the voice and this doodle speaks any language that people understand and once your audience see the drawing they understand the message without even telling them or explaining what the message is with type and this is what i'm trying to say here so if you look at this project here we have this um sleepy eye here with drawing of car and then uh, this man with with the child walking and the goal here or the message here is to let people know that sleeping while driving is not professional because when these eyes uh, when the eyes of this dude is closed now you see this illustration close to these people all right so i believe you all get the message and this is a very good project okay so i'll go straight to my next slide now this this is a fictional project i did for one of the banks here in my country the goal here is to create a project that shows how the banks make going back to school easy for school children. And I was able to, you know, make this successful with the use of these doodles here and these doodles, doodles here and the using of sharpeners with the color of the brand. All right. So let's go straight to my next slide. Now, this project here, why this is successful is because this the doodles on each of the kids here is telling us the activity that each of these kids is um performing so um on this design here the doodles with the tongue out here is to show delicious all right and this is a very good project that i love and i believe you all love it also i believe you're enjoying this <laughs> all right so as a creative for you to be interesting you have to be interested in surprising your audience and photo manipulation is part of how we do this see every aesthetic structure comes with good planning the lack of planning is what always make the project look unsuccessful so i'm going to be showing you how to make a successful photo manipulation there are principles you need to know where making successful photo manipulation is concerned so the number one on my list here is know the goals every photo manipulation every successful photo manipulation always have its own background so the background is what you're going to use to create the planning 
of the photo manipulation the reason why we always come up with photo, man photo manipulation that does not tell any story is because our photo manipulation lacks the goals part and then the planning so you need to understand what is the message who are the target audience why am i doing this what is the story i'm trying to tell here and then you now start drawing how you want the photo manipulation to appear or tell the story to them and then also the uh elements that you're going to put together to achieve the project come in the planning um part okay so then the number two here on my list is obey the law of nature all right so i said this previously you need to understand how things appear in real life when you understand this part making your project look real to the eye is going to to occur now elements you're putting together you have similar perspective the other thing you also need to understand where obeying the law of nature is concerned is the lighting lightning is very important where photo manipulation is concerned the type of light you have or your elements should be equal the light on one element should not be brighter than the other all right except if there's a message you're trying to pass with that but it's always good to make sure that when you put those images together they all share the same light then the other thing you need to understand again is shadow shadow is what gives that project the real look any photo manipulation that lacks shadow is going to look like a cut off paper so shadow is one area that you need to understand how to play with well and make sure that the shadow on each of your objects face the same direction because when you make them when you make the shadows have different directions or different angle it's not going to make the project look interesting then the last part is color combining color the right way is what makes good photo manipulation successful and that's why i use the word obey the law of nature because when you check nature you see that the colors work well the color combination of natures is superb so when you understand how the colors of nature work together it will help you know how to combine colors on your photo manipulation project control subject and elements in camera there are times when you have to be the one to control your elements and your character so as to get that pleasing result that you want and that's why i would advise every creative to try and invest in getting a camera because there are times when you can't you won't be able to get that type of um you know illustration you're looking for from all um stock website so it's good to have a camera so you can direct your shot yourself and then do something that will pass the message the way you want it to so i have here picture of two hands together to illustrate a pen and then i also have here a picture of a baby here so as to you know depict what happened when you eat healthy food while when you are pregnant maybe the photographer or the graphic designer directed the shot and then they you know used it to come up with a successful design project i've seen so many creatives do photo manipulation the wrong way i need you all to know that photo manipulation should be used to illustrate solution and not to tell lies so i have the type of uh, photo manipulation that designers need to avoid one of it is this the message here is like telling people that it's possible for you to eat your brain or your sense and still be alive, which is not true. Photo manipulation is not supposed to be used to tell lies, but to tell the truth. So this message here is not real because I'm sure when people see this, even if they clap for you, they will, I believe they will still come back and say, no, how can this be possible? Or what is the message here? Because it's not possible for you to eat your brain and then still be alive and then i have this now this project here is confusing because i'm still trying to understand the message behind this all right so designers please avoid this type of photo manipulation another confusing illustration again so our advice please guys i know so many of you have seen this type of um, photo manipulation online but if you're a designer a graphic designer this is not supposed to come from you all right then the last one here is this um this is another way of telling lies to people because you can't have your head out from your body and still be alive okay so please guys try avoid this type of um, photo 
manipulation. Lastly, to be a better designer where telling story with photo manipulation is concerned, you need to build an eye for realism, perspective, lighting, and colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to click the post notification bell so you get notified when I post my tutorials. Share, like, and comment on this video. And if there's any part that you find very interesting in this video, please drop it in the comment section of this video. If you have any question, you can also drop it in the comment section of this video. I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.